Good afternoon, everyone. This is an exciting day for us. Most of all, I'm praying all of you are healthy, well, and being safe. Um, this is an exciting thing for BTS to do. For those of you who don't know BTS, BTS is the Cradle to Career Initiative in the city of Waterbury. We do our work from a collective impact approach, working with partners around a shared agenda. And that agenda is to make sure that our students um, are ready and prepared for school, career, and life. And a part of that work and that initiative and mission is this very webinar today. Despite our new normal, we have to keep in mind that our juniors and primarily our seniors are going to miss a very significant milestone in their life. And that's walking across that stage and getting the diploma. And hopefully they won't miss that rite of passage of walking on a college campus in the fall and going through a freshman orientation. But even if so, we wanna make sure they have the necessary necessary tools to prepare them for what's going to happen um, beyond their post beyond their secondary experience. We're really excited to have all of our uh, secondary post secondary secondary institutions involved in this call. I'm really excited about them committing to the time to share the wisdom, insight, and tools to best prepare um, our students here in the city of Waterbury and abroad. So welcome to Meet the Deans, um, and thank you so much for taking the time to be with us this afternoon. Waterbury Versus Success also consists of five collaborative action networks. This is happen happens to be in collaboration with one of them. So our College and Career Pathways can, um, which is convened once a month. So starting up first, um, we have Jeffrey Mond, the Dean of Admissions from University of Bridgeport. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about our campus, where we're located. We're right on the uh, South Shore, Connecticut, on the south side of um, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Uh, very conveniently located, less than a mile from the Port Jeff Ferry and the Metro North train station. Uh, at the university, we really celebrate uh, our diversity. Um, we are 30% uh, Black or African American, 30% White, 26% Hispanic, um, and 9% uh, International, 4% uh, Asian. For our uh, College of Arts and Sciences, we're very well known for dental hygiene and nursing, but uh, uh, one of our newest majors, Medical Laboratory Science, is an, extreme, is an extremely high demand, uh, especially with uh, what's going on today as doctors are learning about the uh, COVID uh, pandemic on the fly. Uh, being able to uh, readily available, uh, be readily available to uh, test and hypothesize to come out with vaccines is extremely important. The application process is very, uh, very quick and easy. Uh, we are on the Com Common App, as I mentioned before. We are uh, test optional, so if uh, the SATs or ACTs are not an accurate reflection of your um, of your academic ability, you don't need to send them in. While we would like everybody to visit the campus in person, uh, we're doing everything that we can to. Uh, Show you what it, what it is to be a bridge student. So, thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so, yes, I am the admissions and recruitment manager at University of Connecticut, the Waterbury campus. Um, so, I will be talking a little bit about the Waterbury campus, but then UConn as a whole. This picture is from our Stores campus. Um, and at the Stores campus, which is our flagship campus, we have about 19,000 undergraduate students, and we are a medium sized public university. Um, we do have 24 Division I sports teams, as well as intramural sports and club sports. So, at the UConn Waterbury campus. We're happy to announce that we are going to be launching our allied health sciences major as a new four-year degree uh, starting this fall. We also have the um, included majors that are four-year degrees at the Waterbury campus, including American Studies, Business Administration, Business Data Analytics, English, Human Development and Family Sciences, Psychological Sciences, urban and community studies, and we also have a general studies degree for our adult population. Um, that is in addition to the 110 majors that students can complete across the university system. So one of the things that we'd like to highlight, um, especially since I am from the Waterbury campus, is the benefits of attending a regional campus. Um, access to, to faculty is one of the uh, main components uh, because you are dealing with a smaller student population. The small class sizes are an easy transition for students um, that may be 
uh, finding it difficult to transition from high school to college. Um, affordability is definitely an option, especially um, during the current situation. We are finding that students may be opting for a regional campus um, due to the lower cost um, because it is only the tuition and fee structure um, rather than having the uh, mandatory policy of having to live on the stores campus. We are not test optional, so we do require that students do submit um, either one of these scores, um, but certainly we do see students without uh, outside of this range as well. So this is usually the indicator, the average, but we always encourage students to apply. Um, there is no minimum to apply to the university, so we do like to highlight that, and it is a holistic review of the students. So that is all of the slides. I should have included a contact slide as well, but certainly encourage students to reach out to any of us in the admissions office. So if you go to admissions.uconn.edu, that information is all there. Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a great afternoon. Hope you and your families are doing well, despite what we're all challenged with right now. I am the Dean of the John P. Burke School of Public Service and Education. We uh, are the largest of the three schools at POST. And on the title slide, you will see a slogan that we have, POST makes it personal. We are uh, basically separated into th my school, Burke School of Public Service and Education. Sometimes I, I call my school the School of the helping professions and education. Uh, we have uh, four master's degrees as well as six bachelor's degrees and a few certificates and associates availabilities as well. Early childhood education, human services, legal studies, psychology, criminal justice are just a few of the majors that we offer through the School of Public Service and Education. We also have a very sizable and well-known uh, Malcolm Baldridge School of Business and understandably they focus on business subspecialties and last but not least uh, we have the wonderful school of arts and sciences which focuses on kind of more stem concentrations biology the sciences technology we separate actually our programs into two buckets primarily we offer all of our degree programs online um, provides a great deal of flexibility for our students who are not just in Connecticut and across the nation. Uh, we have, I would say right now, over 12,000 students and just under a thousand of them are main campus students. And those tend to be more of our traditional age students starting their undergraduate uh, degree programs right out of high school. They're looking oftentimes for the full-fledged college experience and we do have six residence halls where many of them live. Many of them commute, in fact most of the about a thousand of them commute to campus. I will provide IKEA with some contact information to our website but if you check our website again we, ex we have rolling admission so anytime any student wants to, any applicant wants to actually apply, we're more than well, uh, more than happy to accept the application. Up next, Dean Sarah Gager from um, Nogsuk Valley Community College. Uh, thank you and good afternoon. My name is Sarah Gager and I am the Dean of Student Services at Nogsuk Valley Community College. Um, most of you, I think, on this call uh, know where we are located in Waterbury, um, which is our main campus, and we have a second campus that is in, in Danbury, on Main Street in Danbury. Um, between the two campuses, our enrollment in the fall averages about 6,500 students for the credit and um, usually about 1,000 for non-credit courses. Um, in addition, we have a very um, vibrant early college program that is offered throughout our service region, which includes 21 towns um, in the greater Waterbury, Danbury area. Um, we do offer um, just over 100 programs, credit uh, degrees and certificates. And we have um, two full semesters, fall and spring, along with a very vibrant winter intercession. And we have two summer sessions, um, providing opportunity for students to take classes um, almost year round. Uh, the only time they're not active in classes is the month of August. We do wanna share that um, Naugatuck Valley Community College um, does extend uh, approximately $14 million a year in scholarship assistance um, and grants. Um, another thing I would like to share um, is regarding the application process. It's very easy at the college. Again, nv.edu, click on future students, and there's an online application. 
Applications are accepted year-round. Um, they are processed based on enrollment periods. Um, the college is a community college, um, so it is very affordable. Um, it is also um, one of the schools that will be part of the the debt-free college um, starting this fall. There is information on our website about that um, to support graduating high school students looking to continue on uh, to a community college to nv.edu, our website, to find information. It is uh, fully accessible on mobile devices and laptop computers. Hello, everyone. Uh, again, this is Talitha from Connecticut Community Foundation, and we are a nonprofit organization that gives grants and scholarships and students graduating from high school and going into college. And as long as they continue to meet criteria, we will carry them for the four years. So with our application process, um, it is an online application format and students are required to provide an essay, a letter of recommendation, uh, student activities or student must maintain a 2.75 GPA in order to continue to receive scholarships from us. And they do have to provide the FAFSA, which is one of the most important they provide to us to be considered. And some of our scholarships do allow for an extra year or two for particular majors that extend beyond the four year mark. So again, if you would like to contact me, if you have more specific questions afterwards, you will re you will be able to see my contact information. All right, good afternoon. How's everyone doing today? My name is Frank E. Brady. I am representing the amazing organization known as En-ROADS. So we're not gonna be too long with you. First and foremost, um, what is En-ROADS? So En-ROADS is one of the nation's oldest nonprofit leadership development organizations across the country. And the mission of En-ROADS is to develop and place talented underserved youth in business industry and prepare them for corporate and community leadership, right? We have this amazing opportunity for graduating high school seniors um, that are college bound this upcoming fall. And this is our pre-college leadership summit informational. So what is the pre-college um, leadership summit? It is a three-day pre-college conference that we're gonna be having a virtual option that's gonna be happening in light of um, the COVID-19 um, epidemic. It's a pilot program launched in 2013 um, with travel, comp travel companies across the country, across the um, state, I'm sorry. And it's going to be for high school seniors. This is a leadership summit that is a pre-college transition program with a focus on STEM and business and gives them the inroads advantage, which pretty much means, right, that if your students come in board in this program, they're going to get access to executive networking, professional managerial training, year-round staff support, career coaching, academic support, and access to paid internships, meaningful experiences, scholarships, and mentorship opportunities, right? I am the executive director of a statewide college access organization here in Connecticut called Higher Heights, and we are also the state's liaison for the Connecticut College Application Campaign. Over the past 16 years, we've helped a little over 2,500 students. We have a 100% high school graduation rate, 95% college enrollment rate, and 90% of our students come from low-income families and backgrounds. We believe that all students deserve the right to have information about post-secondary opportunities, and then they get to make the decision as to whether or not they want to pursue those opportunities. We work hand in hand with schools, creating programming and initiatives to actually provide support so that more students and families can learn about post-secondary opportunities and get one-on-one -on -one direct support with that. Stay connected with us guys. Um, follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, Higher Heights, we are a very interactive organization. Um, again, we provide multiple levels of support to school districts. If you are a school district who needs help navigating this college access work, we are the organization um, to help you do that. Awesome. So I hope this was informative and helpful. Um, of course, we'll send you guys some information via email. Thank you guys for registering. Um, here's some of our contact information. You can contact me directly um, at admin intern at waterbreakersuccess.org um, or through our telephone number, even though we're teleworking. 
Um, feel free to find more information about um, BCS as well as all the resources that we have provided for you guys. But I will push out some more information with you guys as well in regards to our positive development stuff as well. Um, thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.